Here, we have a video of me during a rather laggy game of Battlefield 4. This takes place on a dark area of the map, so the flare hopefully shouldn't be overkill. First thing you should do is copy the video track with Ctrl C and paste with Ctrl V or just right click to copy and paste it. Paste it on a video track above your original and optionally mute or delete the extra audio track. Now, hide the lower video track before you edit. This isn't necessary, but I think it helps if you want to see just the lens flare on its own. The first effect we're going to add is color curves with the preset reset to none. Add it to the top track. Double click anywhere on the curve to create a new node. Click and drag your new node's child nodes so that they are vertical. Now click and drag your new node all the way to the bottom right of your editor. You don't need to change the other nodes. Now add a new effect, color corrector. Drag saturation all the way to the left and gamma all the way to the right. Drag gain all the way to the right and leave offset alone. Now add the effect chroma keyer. You can use any of the presets as we are going to edit them anyway. Set the color for it to key out black. Unmute your second video track to check your progress. You should see in the preview, the white has been highlighted. Now add Gaussian Blur again with the preset, reset to none, and drag the horizontal range to the right. Your highlights may disappear, like in this case, but we'll fix that in a second. Now add the effect Glow after Gaussian Blur with the preset White Soft Glow. Keep suppression either lower off, raise intensity, and lower glow percent. If your highlights in your preview disappeared when you add Gaussian Blur, change the horizontal range to a lower value until you get a strong glow. After you have improved your glow, go back and forth from Gaussian Blur to Glow, changing horizontal range and glow intensity until you find a good look. Please note that at least for me, the playback lags a small bit when you view your video, but it doesn't lag after you render it. I'm pretty sure you could edit your allocated memory and it would be lag free. Also make sure your videos both stay aligned the whole time or else the bloom won't match, the lens flare won't match up with what it's supposed to. And of course remember to unhide your lower video track before you render.